Hello and welcome to SprueCam Tutorials brought to you by SprueCam America. This tutorial is going to be the first of a series of beginner tutorials um, that will help uh, new users go through uh, SprueCam 7. Um, the version that I am using for this particular tutorial is going to be build 1.5 rev 45534 what I'm going to do first is help everybody get familiar with the controls of SprueCam so let's go over what the mouse controls do the left mouse button like everything else will pick and unselect different things. The right mouse button when clicked will bring up other menus. If you click and hold the center click wheel you can move the model on one plane around uh, the viewing window. If you click and hold the right mouse button you can dynamically rotate your part. This rotates on the axis of where you pick from. Okay. Now, the center click wheel, if you spin the click wheel in and out, it will zoom the part. These series of icons up at the top are feature selection icons. If you want to select a curve, which would be an edge or a line, you need to select the edge. If you would like to select a face, you need to keep on the face select one. Um, the mesh doesn't really apply at this uh, point, this is mesh because there is no mesh. This is an IGIS file that's in here. It's not on. Uh, uh, it's not in that file. There's point selections. There's vertices selections, which would be right there, uh, right there. You must make sure that those are on if you're wanting to select an edge or a surface. You'll see that quite a bit in these tutorials. Also, um, sometimes it's helpful to turn as many off as possible because if you have multiple things on, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to select the one thing that you may want to select. These icons right here are snap to icons. These are only used in with 2D geometry, which we will cover in a different um, tutorial. There is a calculator function. The values that come out of the calculator can be cut and pasted into different areas of the program. There are system setup icon. In this system uh, setup area, you can choose the folder where you want to um, find your post processors. You can find all sorts of, you can define all sorts of different uh, file areas where you can save your prod projects, where you get your import files from. You can choose your different, in measurements units, you can choose different types of measurement units. Tolerance digits, how many zeros do you want to go out to? Visualization. Some people that have installed um, SprueCam 7 on a Windows 7 64 bit system will have to turn off fast painting mode and turn on use simple OpenGL objects only. Otherwise, their screen in the back kind of turns black and doesn't work quite right. You can customize your viewing screen, all sorts of different custom options. Um, there's tolerance for importing your different parts. Um, 
There's some different uh, selections here. Right here you can use an external NC editor when you actually put your post processor, uh, when, you, when you process your, your project, if you want to then open it up and, and be able to edit the G code, if you tell it where a uh, NC editor, basically a Word, Word pad or Notepad++, it will open that um, if you need to edit it. These are some different types of viewing icons. If you have a mouse that doesn't have a lot of the different buttons, like a click wheel or something, you can actually go up and select. All right, I'm going to select the hand and move stuff around. Now I'm going to select the cursor so I can pick something. Or I'm going to select um, the dynamic rotate tool. You have different things like that. You can select a zoom. Same thing as rotating the center click wheel. Um, this is fit to window, so I'll fit it right in there. Go back to the regular cursor. Also, when you're watching these tutorial videos, you can see when I click with the left mouse button, you see a green star. When I click with the right mouse button, you will see a blue star. So that will maybe uh, clear up some things if, if you didn't hear if I say left or right click on something. Down on the bottom left hand corner of the um, sprue cam window you can see different view angles. So we can get to the top view, front view, right side, back, left side, underside or bottom, front isometry, right isometry, back isometry, and left isometry. Now here is a very important icon right here. These are different view icons. And if you see a little yellow um, check down there, there are different things you can turn on. If it's yellow, it's on. In most of these, in all of these, basically, there is an area where you can right-click on things. And sometimes you may or may not see, um, some of the times when I click, the, it might come out of the screen. But you can see this Show Machine CS, you can turn it on and off. There's also other um, versions in here, machine nodes, they'll have different machine nodes that you can turn on and off. We can actually turn the machine on, which happens to be a Tormach machine at this point. And you can see how your part is, is referenced here. Now, uh, because this part is lifted up off the table, does not necessarily mean that's how you're going to have to mount your part. Um, it just so happens that the fourth axis is enabled, so that's the center line of where the origin would be. It doesn't really matter um, in real-world application once once you take your part to the machine. Um, but normally I keep the machine turned off because it takes a lot more processing power to, to run the machine. Um, you can turn a tool on and off. Um, but this guy right here is very important. If you wanted to select some geometry, let's say I want to select an edge. Okay, I can select this edge right now. If I don't have this enabled, which is called Geometry Model Visibility, if I don't have that selected, you could actually have this one selected and still look like you have the part, but you will not be able to click the edge until you select Geometry Model Visibility, and then you can select edges. So. That's a, that's a major stumbling block that a lot of people call across um, when they first start up using sprue cam. You'll see right here, this is workpiece visibility. Um, and we can edit some. This is a, this is the workpiece box that you'll see right now. 
there's a transparency that's select and we can turn the transparency off and what that workpiece is the, the smallest uh, box you're able to fit your um, part into and, and you there's a lot more to that that you'll be seeing in some later tutorials um, turn that off go back to our model tab you see the crosshairs here is the uh, um, the origin point for your um, your model now we can go through um, what these icons are over here the purple T is for um, the text editor you can actually add text that you can machine later um, this is a sew faces. You don't normally need to sew faces when you import a a, uh, a model because it normally does it automatically. But if you were to um, use some of the transform functions and make a copy or something, you may need to sew the faces. And that basically means it makes a watertight model and allows you to select edges. Um, that's one you'll be using often. This right here is the transform icon. This icon will allow you to do a lot of different operations such as rotate the part, scale the part, mirror the part, locate your zero point. There's a lot of different things you can do with that transform functions. Um, right now we won't go over the other ones. Um, and some of the other more important points you're going to want to see global CS means global coordinate system if you're using just one coordinate system which we will be doing through most of these tutorials that refers to this crosshairs point and now we can go through some of these file edit tools we have file this is where you will find how to save open import export um, and edit you do just regular copy and paste type functions. View, you can view different types of toolbars, turn off toolbars. In tools, there's an add-ins manager. If you have a different types of CAD systems, there's sometimes add-ins for SprueCam that allow you to directly export. And then the regular help functions, and the help functions are usually pretty good. You can do a content search and usually find some help so this is just a, a the very beginning number one tutorial of our new um, line of getting started tutorials brought to you by SprueCam America and hopefully this one helps you get started thank you